Ready, Evelyn? All right. So I am a facilitative type teacher, which means you all get to engage. First thing we're going to do is have you take one hand up in the air. I don't care which one. This is participatory. Very good. Thank you. And now I want you to bend the elbow and pat yourself on the back because you all are starting the year out right, coming to a networking event and also learning about how to make habits stick. As we talked about habits today, I'm going to use health and wellness habits because that is my world. But if your health and wellness is all spot on, exactly the way that you want it to be, then you can think about other habits that you want to make and apply this to that habit. So using health and wellness, grab a pen or if you're taking notes on laptop or iPad or whatever, do it that way. What is a health goal, a habit that you desire, and then how will that habit, when you have reached it, and this is the first question up on your sheet, um, how will your life be better? What will you feel like? How, you know, when you have reached that goal, how is that going to feel? I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Write that down. <laughs> And if you're watching online, write it down. <laughs>
lunch packed for the next day, got her workout bag packed for the next day, goes through her day. On Monday afternoon, she's at the gym in the middle of her workout when it hits her. I'm freaking out. How did this happen? Because always before, she'd been an on-again, off-again exerciser, and if she'd gone away for two weeks, it would have been January 3rd before she was back in the gym again. So you want to move from action to identity. Here's the catch. This is, this is bad news, but it's good news once you accept it. How long does it take to make that shift? Any, has anybody heard? 30 days. 30 days, six weeks. So 21 days, 30 days, six weeks. We hear those time frames. Sorry. It's six months. Yeah. It's six months. Um, and I mean, six months is ballpark. You know, it could take four months, five months, six months, seven months, but it takes it longer. Now, the good news is it gets easier as you go. So at 21 days, at 30 days, at six weeks, it's a whole lot easier than it was when you first started. So it's not difficult up until this magic moment. But for it to be where it's truly identity, don't have to think about it, you end up at the gym going, how did I get here? That takes a lot longer time frame. Now the good news with that is, once you accept that and know that, you start putting things in place to help you. Because a lot of times, have you ever, and I'm gonna raise my hand on this too, have you ever tried and failed on a new habit? Nine times out of 10, it's because people put these supports in place for 21, 30 days, six weeks, and then they let those supports go. They think they got it, and then life happens. So keep those things in place. So what are the things that you have in place? Well, the first step that you wanna have in place is what's called a micro commitment. Micro commitment is something you know you can do no matter what. Uh, the benefits of it is it keeps this activity, this new habit, top of mind. It also definitely builds your confidence, and it begins to form that identity that we talked about. Let me give you an example of a micro-commitment. I actually learned this from a client years ago. It's in all the research now, so you know it's all official. But I learned it from her almost 30 years ago now. She wanted to exercise a certain number of days a week. One day she's in the gym, in the lobby, knitting. What is up with this? So I go up and kid her and I say, you know, you know the exercise equipment's upstairs. What are you doing down here? And she looked at me, you all, just haggard. She was exhausted and she said, I am too tired to work out today, but it's my day to be here, so I'm here. And I looked at her and I said, honey, we gotta talk, because you were on to something. And her, she knew intuitively and she taught me that if she made this micro commitment of just get in the building when she didn't feel like it, then she would form the habit so all the other days that she felt like it, she would come in and exercise. So as I've shared that with people, I've had people make micro commitments for a gym. They would go in, show their membership card, and leave. <laughs> That was their micro commitment. And I promise you nine times out of 10, and they go tell me these stories. Oh, today I was just too tired to do anything. I thought I couldn't work out. Oh wait, I didn't promise I would work out. I promised I would go show my membership card. I could do that. They go in, they show their membership card. What happens? They go, well, you know, while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and walk a few minutes. I've walked a few minutes. I might as well go ahead and look to, you know. They did something. It was better than nothing. And that's where that whole something's better than nothing comes up because it gets them in there. If you're working out from home, here's about one to exercise. If you're working out at home, maybe your micro commitment is I'm gonna put my walking shoes on and open the front door. I don't have to step out and walk. I'm just gonna get my, in, my identity formed that I am an exerciser. You move from Sherry who exercises to Sherry the exerciser. If it's a Mediterranean diet that you're wanting to follow, maybe this week I am too exhausted to make all this stuff. But I know that fruits, fresh fruits are a part of that, so I'm gonna have fresh fruits on the counter. I don't have to eat them, but they're gonna be there. <laughs> if you are wanting to drink more water, okay, maybe your micro commitment is, I'm gonna have water on my desk. I don't have to drink it, but the micro commitment, something that you know you can keep no matter what, whatever happens, you know you can keep it. So I want you to take 30 seconds, think about your goal, and think about a micro-commitment that you can make toward that goal. I'm timing it. Go.
Right at the end. <laughs> okay. It begins to drop off and then begins to flatten out. That flattened out point on the re is all the research has shown that flattened out point happens right at that six month mark. That's where we get the six month window from. So if you just, you know, you cut that out, put it up somewhere. Every time you see an arrow over the next few months, let it remind you I'm going to keep all these supports in place, micro commitment being one of them, for six months so that you go to identity. So, micro commitment, any volunteers to share? Right. Okay, so um, as you were saying that, I was writing down um, that I'm going to lay out my workout clothes at night and ready to go. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah, and that will more more yeah, and that will help you get the workout in, and it will still reinforce the mindset even if you don't get your workout in. I've at least laid out my workout clothes. Yes. So my goals were similar to what you shared, and uh, my micro goal was um, don't eat after dinner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I had because I look at my phone too much. I mean, I already have the goals for the weight loss and stuff like that. But um, one that just came to me is I'm going to leave it in the other room at night, mm -hmm. so I don't look at it constantly at night. Fantastic. Working, basically working is what I do. So. Fantastic. We can talk after. I've got an interesting story. Jason, who is quoted on this sheet. He had an issue with that, and his income went through the roof when he did that. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you about to say something? Oh, over to your phone. Any, anybody else want to share? Yes. So keep the walking shoes at the office. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, and that's so and that's because we started walking the lunch time. Trying to do this. Yeah. Then yeah. It's like, but I don't have my shoes today. I bring them today. And yeah, and if they're there, then you, you have the ability to get that done. Great job, you all. Well, I will be here, obviously, during lunch, so if you've got questions and want to chat me more about this, and I will pass around the sign-up sheet. I have a free guide on how to get healthy without going insane. Um, and if you want that as some accountability nudge, I will email that to you, so I'll get that passed around. Thank you all so much. Thank you.